Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Starfield, where today we are right. We left off in the last episode here in the Ryujin offices as we continue with Back to the Grind, where we have successfully gotten hired by Ryujin Industries, which I mean, of course, I doubt there's any way you could have failed the interview process and the application. And uh, now, after a coffee run, we've already been promoted. <laughs> God, if only real life worked this easily. Oh, and now we need to go and meet some of the other executives. And if I'm remembering right from yesterday, didn't that one uh, Terabrew person tell us to... I think it was this one? Uh, Camden Cho, that they fix the machines? I wonder if we'll have that option when we chat with them. I'm hoping so, but who knows? Who knows? We handled Tomo, and now we have a, a job as a rookie operative. Ha boy, or junior operative, there it is. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's go talk to these other executives and see what's what and see where we go from here. I mean, I assume we're going to be doing wet work for Reugen, but yeah, who knows? Maybe we still got coffee runs in us. <laughs> to the conference room. Hey, folks, how's it going? So I guess I just go from one to the next on you. We'll start with you then, Lyndon Calderi. Ah, coffee. Mm -hmm. You'd think we'd want to support our own subsidiary and get tranquility more often, but Terabrew it is. You know, I hadn't thought about that, Lyndon. That is a very good point. <laughs> I hadn't thought about that at all. Hmm, maybe Regent should acquire Terabrew. I've heard. Yeah, we already know. I'm not even. I'm not even going to justify that question. I usually hit the question mark ones because more lore. But come on now. <laughs> We learned all that last time. Uh, take Tranquility over Terabrew any day. You know, I'll go with this one. Yeah, maybe we should require Terabrew. Terabrew would be a substantial purchase, but mm -hmm. we fully intend to develop the Tranquility brand. Ah, uh, okay. Current projections are set to surpass Terabrew within the next five years. But then you can have both Detail brands, one's coffee, one's tea. To introduce myself. I'm Lyndon Calderi, Chief Financial Officer. Ah, the CFO. I'll be the one deducting expenses from your pay every time you manage to screw up. Oh, great. Which hopefully won't be often. Hmm. We may or may not get along, depending on how much you take from my paycheck. <laughs> my pay gets reduced whenever I make mistakes, huh? Yes. Mistakes are often costly and involve substantial cleanup, both literally and figuratively. Mm hmm Law enforcement, witnesses, evidence, everything has its cost. Too true. Too true. Uh, you know what? Understood. Yeah, well, hmm. Never screw up. You won't have anything to deduct. Oh, no. He'll have things to deduct. <laughs> Well, there goes my paycheck. Well, you know, we're not that bad. It'll only be only be half, so understood. Good. Then it appears we have nothing left to discuss. Oh, okay, Lyndon. This introduction was not annoying. Oh, okay. I hope our future encounters are as productive. Wonderful. Glad I could help. <laughs> and he was straightforward and to the point. Who do we got here? Uh, Genevieve Monahan. Hello. Uh, just what I needed. Imogene said she hired someone new. Mm-hmm. I'm Genevieve, Head of Marketing and Public Relations. Got it. Okay, so marketing must be easy here. Ryujin Tech sells itself. You know what? When you're that big of a brand, you're not wrong. <laughs> you know, I'll go with this one, though. Let's let, you know, flatter our bosses. We gotta keep in their good graces. This is corporate culture, after all. So you're the one keeping Ryujin in the public's good graces, huh? Yeah, uh, me and an entire department at my back. Mm-hmm. Anyway... It's good to put a face to the new operative. The only question now is how much work are you going to be? I don't know. We'll find out. Also, good on you for recognizing a moment ago that you're, there is a department behind you. I've met too many executives in my life and managers who think it's all them. <laughs> so what do you mean by how much work I'm going to be? Clean up, of course. Journalists are pretty quick at putting two and two together. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is there and job? I get the pleasure of making sure those connections are never made. Oh, uh, okay. Or if they are, handling the fallout. Got it. Uh, none. You don't have to worry about me. I uh, know you may have to worry about me a little. I'm new at this, so I may need some forgiveness at first. I only care about the results, not the methods. I mean, <laughs> we'll go with this one again. Keeping the good graces of the bosses here. Yeah, I'm new to this, so please bear with me at first. A few slip-ups are to be expected. Mm-hmm. Just know that one screw up for you means a lot of overtime and sleepless nights for me and my team. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, got it. So, any precautions you can take will be greatly appreciated. I'm genuinely surprised Ryujin actually gives overtime. Well, 
She didn't say anything about overtime pay. <laughs> Just overtime work. All right, is this uh, Alexis Price here? Coffee, finally. Mm-hmm. Well, let's have a look at you. Hi. Well, I'm quite the specimen I know. <laughs> it's not creepy or anything. I hope you like what you see. I'm not just here for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> I'll go with this one. Yeah, I hope you like what you see. That depends on your actions going forward. Fair enough. I'm Alexis Price, head of the legal department here. Got it. I'll be direct. Uh-huh. Figured. Any legal troubles you cause as an operative, witnesses getting arrested, are my troubles. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So steer clear of law enforcement. Oh, I try. We I may try have now. We connections so. with Administrator Bayou and the Free Star Rangers. But they aren't the ones I prefer to abuse. Okay. Hey, by the way, I'm also a Free Star Ranger, so, you know, that could work in our favor. <laughs> but yeah, what connections do you have with Free Star Rangers? For one, our connections with Bayou automatically grant us a slight connection with the Rangers. <laughs> he has some amount of influence with his seat on the Council of Governors. Very true. But our strongest connection is local with Ranger Price. Oh, okay. Yeah, Ranger Price, I know him. I'm a Free Star Ranger too. <laughs> I don't seem to have that ability to say that yet, which kind of annoys me. I could also tell I'm a part of Vanguard. I'm sure this would be wonderful information for her to know and make use of. But I doubt it'll come up. Uh, nice, the Free Star Ranger on the page. Yeah, I'll just, I know. Yeah, I know, Price. Yes, you have quite the history with the Free Star Rangers yourself. Oh, you know, wonderful. Which is why I hope you won't be an issue. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm like a ghost. No one will ever catch me. <laughs> I mean, no one's caught me, let's be honest. But I'm definitely not like a ghost. I usually go in guns blazing. Okay, no promises. I do what's necessary. I'll do my best. I mean, I, I will go with this one. This is more true, though. <laughs> I'll do my best. Let's hope your best is good enough. We'll find out. All right, now just cam to Joe. Yo, I can't interact with him from that angle. There we go. Wait, oh, God, I lost him for a moment. Oh, there it is. So, fetching coffee one minute, and junior operative the next. I know, really weird. Camden Cho, supply chain manager for Ryujin. Oh, supply we chain. We won't work together much, but as part of the same department, hopefully I'll be seeing you around. Wait, the operatives are part of the supply chain? <laughs> that seems weird. Honestly, I would have thought we'd be under legal. Huh. Strange. So what exactly do you do here? I have the glorious job of keeping all the departments supplied with exactly what they need. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anything from rare materials for R&D to slates and design software for marketing. Got it. You could say I'm the one aspect of operations that keeps this department legit. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Supply chain manager doesn't sound all that glamorous. Hey, man, someone's got to do it. You know, if I need some pins, that just seems rude. The barista said, oh, yeah, hey, the barista said she triple-checked the grind herself. Ah, oh, so she remembered. Mm-hmm. Not that I expect much out of Terra Brew Coffee, but hey, I suspected their grinder was on its last leg. Anyway, welcome to the team. Okay. Oh, and Thank you. just a heads up, people in your position don't typically see the brighter side of Ryujin Industries. I mean, but is there a brighter assured, side? This is a great company, and the work we do goes toward benefiting millions. Does it, though? <laughs> So, how does Ryujin benefit millions of others? Well, NeuroAmps, for one. They aid in mental illness, confidence boosting, and focus. Drone robots for maintenance and security. Tranquility for relaxation. Arboron for protection. <laughs> Their work only helps us improve and expand upon these products that so many people love and benefit from. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. I'm still thinking the NeuroAmps are going to be something shady eventually, but hey, what's the bright side to the corporate uh, to corporate espionage? I get your point, but if anything, take comfort in knowing that you're the one deciding the methods behind your assignments. Oh. Not only that, but corporate espionage is the norm. True. Ryujin just handles it better than most. Fair. Competitor operatives have done far worse to accomplish less. Yeah, yeah, that's not surprising. Oh, boy. Yeah, corporate espionage is freaking everywhere. So, uh, my job description certainly sounded otherwise. I mean, I still never even saw a job description anywhere. Again, I may have just been blind, but eh. I'll keep that in mind, though. Thank you. Please do. I like you the best. It's easy to get wrapped up in the bad if that's all you see. Fair enough. Of course, you'll be forming your own opinions as you go. Oh, most certainly. Just keep an open mind. Oh, and thanks for the coffee. No problem, Camden. Yeah, I like you the most. Yeah, still, I, I hadn't thought about that before, though, with the coffee run. 
They own tranquility. <laughs> Should they have just ran with that? Oh well. All right. Okay. Let's go up here and back to Imogen. Imogen and you run a tight ship around here. Okay. Hello. I hope you enjoyed your little meet and greet. You know, it was informative. I thought you'd like to know the execs who you'll be impacting while on the job. <laughs> Still confused why the operatives are under the acquisitions department rather than legal, but okay. But okay, the basic theme was don't get caught. <laughs> I mean, yeah, for a corporate spook, that's definitely it. It was nice to get uh, to meet more people in the company. I have a feeling I won't get along with most of them. You know what? Honestly, no. It really only seemed that the lawyer, well, maybe the CFO too. So 50% of them I won't get along with, I think. I've been told how much work I could create for them if I'm not careful. <laughs> now I still like this one. Basic theme was don't get caught. That doesn't surprise me. Mm -hmm. Now that you've met a few of the execs, let's get you started. Mm -hmm. We have reason to believe that our friends at Kelt Corp are trying to hack into our R&D server. So oh. we're both competing for a contract right now. Oh, okay. I know them. I've, I've helped them before. <laughs> And they are desperate, I think, from... Oh, no, no. It was the people they were helping with money that were desperate. I don't really know if we learned how Kelt Corp's own stuff was doing. Uh, yeah, they must be desperate if, uh, desperate if they resorted to illegal activity. Hardly. This is the standard run-of-the-mill tactic we've come to expect from them. Oh, really? We can't allow them to win Again, the contract, not nor can we allow the action to go unpunished. I'll be giving you a data slate with a file that you'll need to upload through one of their computers. Mm-hmm. Well, what's on the slate? Think of it as a lesson that Kelt Corp gets to learn the hard way. Ah, got it. Okay, so we are sabotaging them. How do I gain access to their computers? You know, I'm in good with the, like, owner's daughter, so... <laughs> but yeah, how do I gain access? That's up for you to determine. Think of it as the creative aspect of your job. Mm -hmm, mm hmm There's always more than one way to get the job done around here. Sweet. Well, consider it done. Remember, this is confidential. We can't have anyone at Keltcorp getting suspicious. <laughs> when all is said and done, it should be as if you were never there. Here's the data slate. Good luck. Thank you. We'll do it. Oh, and we got two digipics as well. Lovely. All right. So we went from our uh, previous mission, meeting the execs and all of... Uh, Oh, God, did it go down, like, at the bottom somewhere weird? Oh, God, it did, didn't it? Why is it more up at the top? There we go. Back to the grind. I couldn't remember the name. Uh, to now, whatever we're doing. Oh, what's the name? Let's actually tab out, because it should reset it to the top. There we go. One step ahead. And we could probably get this one done today, since we already have an in with Kelt Corpse. Let's go handle this. And, yeah, not surprising they're doing something like that. Basically, every company does. Any company that works in millions in contracts, they will have corporate espionage. Both being it done to them and doing it to others. I have worked in some companies that you wouldn't think have to deal with that sort of stuff, but oof, they still do. Uh, fun times, fun times. I found something for you. Uh huh. Don't care, Adrian. You know I probably should just take it though. So you, you stop saying that. Need a hand with something? Uh, something interesting. You can take this. Sweet. I have more than enough. It's not going to be interesting, is it? It's a bone. Adhesive bone. Bye, Captain. <laughs> All right, bye-bye. Okay. Yeah, there was actually one company, actually not too dissimilar from what we're about to do actually right now. One company that I worked with a while back, uh, a competitor, well, we don't know who, but one of their our competitors actually like DDoS attacked our servers. <laughs> uh, that was fun. And again, it was over, like, not that big of a crazy contract. <laughs> but yeah, if there's millions involved. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. We got a new activity. And another one just as I'm walking from point A to point B. Oh, God. I hate, I hate that so much. Uh, but yeah, like I'm saying, if there's anything, anything in the millions, people are gonna try and do Shady things do affect it. fishing platform your whole life? Yeah, Hadrian shut it. So, okay. I mean, we can just walk through. They know us. But, will we need to do something sneaky later? Quick save. Also, God, I don't know what that new activity is. Because, again, I was walking by. 
Oh, it's an, it's an activity rather than a thing here, so of course we get no context whatsoever. Son of a bitch. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Ugh. All right, move forward. Yo, folks. Don't mind me. You've all seen me here before. Wow, it's just a computer right there, huh? With a camera right in front of it. Cool. Can we do something to affect the cameras? Hey, security Are you person. supposed to be here? I'm uh, supposed to be everywhere. <laughs> oh, we got a security guy there who's also staring straight at where the computer is. I may be overthinking this, but um, I have a feeling we need to get somewhere where we can shut down security, maybe? Oh, yeah, it's that terminal right there from the looks of things. Huh. We don't really have, like, any other ways through like no air vents no other hallways and i've gone back here before can't talk i've got a deadline coming uh -huh. up yeah i've come back here before yeah see it's 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 locked right now so i think i'll just have to do it when no one's paying attention but it's a small office where everyone is around so i don't think the camera actually does anything i don't know about that for sure though hmm I may be overthinking this. In fact, I probably am. But right now, this computer is, like, in line of sight of multiple people. Huh. What? I'm working here? A lady, I did not interact with you at all. <laughs> no time to chat. Uh-huh. Just generic executive. Hey, security guy, can we chat? I think I got them... What do you call them? Corns? Oh. Yeah, I got corns. Oh, that sucks. That sucks to hear. Boy, so how are we supposed to do this? <laughs> yeah, I don't see, like, any place I can go to shut off anything. Nowhere to hide. The only interactable Sorry, computer is that. Moment. What? Just freaked out with the game audio there. Weird. Oh. Can people see me? Oh, actually, right now, people might not be able to see me. Let's give it a go. <laughs> it's a novice lock. It should be easy, right? This is probably real dumb. Yeah, I couldn't see anything else in there that would be of value to us. Nowhere where I could turn off security or anything like that. All right, and then you. No, 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 no. Yeah, you. And you. Okay. Okay. Just shipping orders. Cool. Neat. And... No one seemed to see me. No one's freaking out. Security's still standing there. I think we're good. <laughs> I th I'm pretty sure I was just overthinking everything. Okay, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, definitely just overthinking things. <laughs> I was, you know, sitting there trying to wonder, how can I turn off security? How can I get people to not look away? But thankfully that one lady sat down. <laughs> I think she was the probably the only person who actually could have seen me. But um, she sat down, thankfully. So, yay. And I'm still annoyed that I got a random-ass activity. And again, with no knowledge of what it is. <laughs> Oh well, oh well. Let's just head back to the boss. And see what's what? Get paid. Yeah, no bounty or anything, so I think we're good. I wonder I wonder though, had we not done that quest for Kelt Court before, would they have allowed us back there? Or would it have been like, hey, you're not supposed to be here? <laughs> but since they know us, are we good? Did did I did I do things beforehand that helped us out? I don't know. I don't know. But oh well. Success. Oh, and thank God the thing on Elaine here went away. That was your name, right? Hey there. Yeah, Elaine. Hey, anything new? Hi. Something you need? Nope. All right, bye-bye. Good talking to you, Elaine. And thankfully, I don't have to do the optional thing with you anymore. These Considering that, but you're going to that broke. <laughs> All right, yo, Imogen. 
Well, look who survived their first assignment. Mm -hmm. How'd it go? Anything to report? Well, I don't appear to have been caught, so. I know what you mean. But uh, you don't already know? A fair question. We may have plenty of eyes and ears out there, but I'm still going to need an answer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, we're new employees, so no. Yeah, I'm going to click it anyways. <laughs> if you think you have any power of negotiating your pay, think again. Dang. Besides, <laughs> payment is based off performance. So let's hear it. How'd that first job go? I mean, didn't get caught, so it went well. No incidents to report. Not a single setback. Huh. I knew you were going to be perfect for this job. If you recall, setbacks mean a lot of things for a lot of people. <laughs> Payoffs, cover stories, cleanup crews. You get my drift. The cleaner your work, the more intact your payments stay. I'm sure Sweet. you understand. I do. I learned that from the CFO. So, I get a clean work equals maximum payout. Don't worry, my work my work's as clean as it gets. <laughs> no, it's not. We're going to screw up something eventually. Uh, you can't seriously expect me to be flawless in a job like this. If you want clean work, you never should have hired me. <laughs> nah, I get it. Clean work equals maximum payout. Exactly. In the meantime, I'll make sure that slate is properly disposed of. Wonderful. So, now that we know you're capable of handling some light cyber mischief... Let's try your hand at a little uh, framing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> framing, I don't recall the arts and crafts being in my job description. Uh, yeah, we're clicking that. I like that one too much. <laughs> and I'd argue that arts and crafts is exactly what we do here. Ah. Just on a much higher level. Nice, I like that. One of our subsidiaries, Arboron, is currently competing for a contract against Laredo. Oh. Now, the buyer likes to keep their associations clean, and we'll be sending a representative to Laredo in Aquila City for an evaluation. Okay. We just need you to visit their office first and accidentally leave behind some incriminating evidence against their company. Got it. Uh, okay, all right. And where do I need to leave this evidence? The inspection will be similar to an audit. These things are usually pretty thorough. Filing cabinets, desks. I trust you can be smart about it. Oh, I wouldn't trust that. And what are the do's and don'ts of this assignment? We want a clean and careful job. Obviously, we don't want any bad press at this point, or we could lose the deal. <laughs> I don't want to hear any news about bounties or bodies coming out of Aquila City. Crap. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, yeah, I'll make sure to get it done. Good. This one should be easy to pull off. Laredo has their own building, unlike Keltcorp. So, at least there's only a single layer of security to deal with. Here's the slate we need you to plant. It holds confidential files that'll cast the perfect negative light on our friends at Laredo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, get going. Okay, bye bye More digipix added. So, am I going to get digipix every time? <laughs> Alright, so, we are... Well, actually, at first, back to here. We now have a new narrative... Okay, well, to Aquila City. <laughs> uh, so we're all, or how many of these little things are we going to do? Because right now it seems fairly, um, well, at least we've only done one so far, but just real short, quick, to the point sort of things. I have a feeling this one might be a little bit more of a pain because Laredo does have its own building. We don't really know much about it. I've only been in there once and into the main, like, Storefront area? Hmm. So what am I going to be able to do? How am I going to get in the back? Wait, hold on. Didn't we... Didn't we confiscate a key for the radio at some point? Give me a moment. <laughs> Alright, well, the thing changed. A new narrative. Plant the confidential files at Laredo Firearms in Aquila City. Get it, get it, get it. Uh, wait, I have new items. Oh, the bone, the confidential file, and Yuko's coffee. Oh, neat. Oh, yeah, I forgot they said we could keep that. Yay. <laughs> Alright, so it'd be in notes. Yeah, no, not notes. Miscellaneous? God, I wish there was just a key category. <laughs> that's one thing that's always annoyed me with Bethesda games and their management. Give me just a key category. Uh, Okay, so it'd be down... Okay, yeah, nothing in the L's. 
Oh, I think if we did, it probably got taken back from the mission. Because, yeah, didn't we catch a guy who was breaking into there I've and always wondered had a security how anyone key? Survived here before the walls were erected. Well, Hadrian's actually not that hard to take down in... What were, what were they called? Ashta? They're pretty easy. <laughs> I don't see why these people are so scared of them. Ooh, boy, yeah, I'm losing awesome. frames coming through here. Weird. And CO2! I heard Mr. Mike. Got it, got it, got it. All right, well, there's Laredo Firearms there. We do know, I think we saw that there was like a back door over here, right? Yeah, we got this. Which is just open. Yeah, I forgot the shooting range. I mean, it's not locked, so I think we can go in there. Huh. Well, first, you know, let's go through the front door. And see what we can do from here. Cause I got I got no points in anything like sneak or anything. So. <laughs> well, oh, hi, random customer. In the right in my system. face. Oh, they're going back there. There's Is not that enough to do around here? Does Does that mean that it's it's a zone I can't go into, or is that just you know be wary of door? Oh, we gotta go upstairs, huh? Well, I'm gonna find out something here real quick. Actually, hold on, we can find out from Talk here probably. Talk to Miss Lance if you wanna make a purchase. I'm behind the line. <laughs> <laughs> I think we might be fine. Oh. Do you care about me being here, sir? We good? We seem good. All right. Oh, yeah, I just need the restroom. Don't mind me. <laughs> Is there an air vent? No. I'm probably overthinking this again. Oh, God, Adrian, what? <laughs> I was opening the door as she was opening the door, and it immediately went to a conversation. See you around. <laughs> oh, well, upstairs. Oh, wait. Oh, employees only. Okay, this one. Oh, there's a roof access, too. Should probably turn off the light. Hmm? Do we have a lean in this game? I don't remember. There's a camera, though. Does that matter in this world? Oh, it didn't in the other thing. <laughs> I don't know. Have cameras ever mattered for us besides the combat ones? Oh, the combat ones. Oh crap! Is that am I or am I overthinking this again? Am I overthinking this again? I'm probably overthinking this again. Will? Does it see me though? Do I have anything silenced that could shoot it? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that would that would tip them off to something have gone wrong in there though. I think I'm overthinking this. I am, I, oh, I'm going to be awful, though. I'm going to save scum this if the camera does get me. Uh, quick save. Because <laughs> I don't know. The only time we've ever had problems with cameras is in, like, the like when we were in the, um, the facility recently. I forget the name of the quest, but the, uh, the one where we were jumping between realities. Uh, there were cameras that were enemies. That was the one and only time we've ever had to deal with cameras. That seems like something that we should really worry about. <laughs> so I'm gonna stay here. Oh, it's gonna see me. I think we're good. Oh, hi, employee who's obviously seen me. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> oh, but that's, that's where it is. The locked thing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I overthought stuff again. Now I just gotta worry about this guy. Hey, sir. You need help? Miss Lance is just downstairs. Cool, cool, cool. I need you to be somewhere else, though. Like anywhere else. Okay, that's actually not bad. He's he's got his he's got his he's sitting down. We're good. <laughs> I think time. Pretty sure time stops in here. I don't know that for sure, but okay. If we do that, and oop, nope, too much. That one. And then a U and a U. You didn't care about that, right? We good? Ooh. Huh. <laughs> oh, another lock. <laughs> Novice though, so we're we're still fine. We're still fine. Okay, so that and can we? Hmm. That might need to go somewhere else in here. Yeah, like right there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then you, and so then we have... Whoops, wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. 
And then you fit there, and you there. Whoops. There we go. Wonderful. Inventory. Confidential files. And I'm out. Those cameras are pointless. You know what? I'm going to go out here. <laughs> I don't know where the roof is. So, cool. Roof. Never been up here before. Yeah, those cameras are pointless. I'm overthinking the security in these buildings. I'm vastly overthinking everything involving the security of these buildings. <laughs> I'm thinking we're actually doing some proper espionage here, but no, it's just, hey, there's a locked thing we gotta get in. And just don't be seen lockpicking. <laughs> oh, oh well. Alright, well back we go. You know, let's do this, and then B. And back to Neon Core. Yeah, definitely just overthinking the things. <laughs> oh, I'm sitting there thinking, do I gotta turn off security? Oh no, do, do I have anything I can use to like distract a person? No, we definitely don't. Oh, it's, it's just a locked door with a camera that does nothing. <laughs> Note to self for the future. <laughs> With my luck, though, with my luck, uh, next episode, when we do our next mission, uh, I'll I'll not think about things too much, and I'll get caught. <laughs> I'll drop my guard and think about things too little. But, oh well, for now, back up to Imogen. Yay. And get paid, yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, wow, two whole quests today. And, you know, finishing off a third with the stuff from last episode. But yeah, had I known, I, I kind of figured the uh, first mission, the Back to the Grind, would have... Uh, there we go, turn off my flashlight. Would have led us into something larger there. If I would have known that it was just straight up talking to those couple of execs for a minute each, roughly, uh, I would have just finished that last time. Hmm, I thought that was going to be go a lot longer. But hi, Imogen! I was hoping you'd show up soon. Is it done? It is. Uh, everything set. The deal should be ours. Excellent. I'll let Ularo know that we can start moving forward with our negotiations. Magnificent. Now, I think it's time to examine a different set of skills. Oh. Okay. So, aren't I legally allowed some sort of break? <laughs> we expect our employees to self-manage when it comes to breaks. <laughs> I recommend taking a moment whenever you feel that stress may be getting the better of you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just be mindful of your time. This job requires a clear head. Get it. Okay, well, uh, I'm ready for whatever's next. Nice to see I haven't worn you out yet. Your next assignment is to find the security chief and use some creative thinking to obtain their security key card. Uh oh. And when I say creative, I don't mean with a weapon. Oh. Either look the part and be persuasive, or be quick with your hands. Uh oh. I'm not quick with my hands. Any suggestions on getting the key card? A security chief isn't going to give the time of day to just anybody. A nice suit should do the trick. Mm hmm. Or, who knows? Some operatives are known to have a security guard uniform or two in their closet they can rely on. Do, do you have Just any you could give me? Just be careful. Getting caught could mean a mess, and cleanup isn't cheap. Mm -hmm. And what do you need the key card for? We just need some easy access to competitor security. Get it? Sometimes obtaining a legitimate form of access is preferred over brute forcing it. But I mean, any company with even any vague sense of a security group or a security division within it is gonna, you know, change that key co card when that guy goes, oh shit, I lost my key card. They're gonna give him a new one that'll have a different access code, because why would they give him one with the same? That'd be horrible security. So, <laughs> but okay, let's get started. Good luck. Okay, bye-bye, I'm Jen. sure you'll be able to get that key card without incident. <laughs> oh, we'll Just see. Just remember, if anything does happen, it's up to you to bail yourself out. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Okay, so oh, it's at Hope Tech, huh? <laughs> oh, why did I go there? No, 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 no. Back to, back to. I tapped too far out. I meant to go into the missions things. Okay, so access is key. Travel to Hope Tech and wear a suit or security guard uniform. Problem is, they know me. <laughs> they very much know me at Hope Tech. 
Uh, I did shoot Ron Hope in the face after all. Good times, good times. Well, I will go and find if I have... I mean, I'm pretty sure I got a suit. I don't know if I got a security guard uniform, though. But I'll try and go find those off cam. I'll, I'll head back to the lodge, see if I've got any in my locker there. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've got a suit. Don't know about this one, though. Hmm. But, oh well, we'll see. But that's going to be it for this one today. In the next episode, we will do Access is Key and see where things go from there with our job as a, an operative for Reugen. But hopefully you all have enjoyed this one today and you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching. As always, we'll have a good one.